Hey guys, Ham Solo here, K0FYR, or in the secret GMRS world, Whiskey Romeo Mike Victor 759. So what I'm going to do is a couple of short intro videos, uh, which are basically going to discuss different features of the Ocean KGUV 9G radio and how you go through some of your typical menu and button presses. And so more to follow on that. Uh, there will probably be a series of these videos, but uh, just wanted to uh, get into showing you how to use some of the functionality of the radio. So stay tuned. I hope you like the presentations. All right, let's get to checking out some of the features on this radio. So right now I have it set into two channels, channel A on the top and channel B on the bottom. Uh, channel A I currently have set up for just standard enter any uh random frequency that you want and so right now i have my uh, local fire department's repeater on it and so if i want to enter any frequency i'll just hit the buttons down here on the numeric keypad and just put one four six whoops all right so case in point see where it says main on the screen that's actually uh, the one i was on i wanted to be on the top and so in order to get on the top, I just hit the band button and that'll go to the top channel A. Okay. Now, if I type in one, four, six, five, two, zero, that's the national uh, Simpex calling frequency for a ham radio. I do have a ham radio license. And so if I wanted to, I could key that up and talk on it. Uh, you don't need a license or to listen. And so you can enter any frequency you want and just listen to it, okay? But that's uh, kind of how I have the top uh, channel set right now is just in the standard enter any frequency mode. You can see channel B is in a GMRS uh, cha uh, uh, channel uh, right now, 16. And if I want to change that, I'll hit the band button again to go down to the bottom. And then if I want to toggle up and down through those channels, I just use the arrow keys on the bottom of the screen and I can go to any of those uh, 22 GMRS channels. And that's the ones that come stock with the radio right out of the package. You could get on it and talk to any other standard stock radio that comes from a regular store. Uh, if I continue up, I'll get into the repeaters of those same uh, eight channels. So repeater 15 and should go up to repeater 22. And again, those are gonna be a standard offset for GMRS repeaters with standard tones that come normally in them and those repeater eight channels. And then again, back down to the normal uh, high wattage GMRS channels, which are gonna be up to 50 watts on, a, a, on your ability to broadcast. Uh, this radio will do 5.5 on uh, watts on those channels now if i continue down i will start getting into the narrow uh, interstitial channels uh, which are going to be 14 down to i think it's about eight and then you'll go back into the normal uh, gmrs shared with frs uh, channels that you can do five watts but they can only do uh, like two watts that's the first seven and then it goes into the interstitial channels where both of you can only do half a watt. And then it goes into the full GMRS eight channels above, which again, you can do upwards of 50 watts, but this radio will do 5.5 watts. And then once you get to the repeaters, again, once you pass 22, you get into the eight repeater channels, which are the same uh, as the previous eight channels, just with the repeater offsets, and you can do 50 watts on those as well. So that's uh, kind of in a nutshell how I have A and B set up currently. If I want to, I'm going to press that TDR uh, VM button, and that's going to go and change to now only looking at the B channel because I have main on B right there. And now that I press that, it takes away the A channel. If I press it again, A channel comes back. If I long press it and hold it, I now go back to the inner, my own frequency mode, or I long press it again. That is the actual channel that's programmed in there for GMRS, whatever I was on. If I long press it again, 
that's the frequency for that GMRS channel. So you can look at it in that view as well. Or I long press it again, and it's GMRS repeater 15. And so long press, regular frequency enter mode, long press, the actual channel in the radio, long press, the actual frequency for that GMRS repeater channel, long press again, the name of the repeater channel. And so I can have it in any of those views that I want. All right. Now I prefer to normally have the radio uh, sitting in channel 15 to channel 22. And my top one, I'm going to switch band by hitting the band button. I'll enter my fart department scanning sound or tone frequency, excuse me, fart department frequency. And I just monitor A, switch the band to the bottom, and then I'm going to hit the scan button. I have this previously set up in the software. And once I hold that scan button, it is just going to scan channel 15 to channel 22, standard GMRS, uh, not going through a repeater. It just scans those channels. So that's a real simple uh, button presses for your band selection from top channel A to bottom channel B using the TDR and the uh, frequency or uh, memory channel button right below it, pressing the scan button in order to set up your scan to run, and then using the up and down arrows uh, to move through your channels. That's going to probably be it for this video. Uh, be more to follow. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you feel like it, visit the affiliate links below, Better Safe Radio. Pick up one of these radios. It's awesome. Check out my other videos. You can see my range tests in Denver metro area, as well as I went and did a simplex range test as well. So this is Ham Solo, K0FYR, or Whiskey Romeo, Mike Victor, 759, signing off. Seven.